This is Percy Bysshe Shelley, and along with Lord Byron and John Keats, he was a member of the second wave of the Romantic poets. He was actually Byron's best friend for a number of years, and since Byron was the kind of person who kept a pet bear at university just to wind up the staff, you'd be forgiven for thinking that Shelley was quiet. He may have seemed that way compared to Byron, but that doesn't mean he didn't live the romantic life to the full. Shelley was born into a very wealthy family in West Sussex and had a very happy life until he was 12 years old and his parents sent him to Eton. This was the same school that uh, Princes William and Harry attended. He was systematically bullied there, both mentally and physically, every day by a group of older boys. They really made his life hell. He did try to make friends, but no one wanted to be friends with him. But he wouldn't be a romantic poet if he took that lying down. Shelley got in a lot of trouble at school. He was very good at science and would do things like electrifying the door handle of his room. He also blew up a tree with gunpowder. His main escape, however, was his imagination. And by the time he was 13, he'd published two novels and two volumes of poetry. And this rebellious streak carried on through his adult life. He was expelled from Oxford University for writing and publishing his views that atheism, i.e. not believing in God, was a good thing. He was expelled because he refused to stop printing his essay and handing it out. A lot of people these days don't realise that Shelley was a political radical who often wrote pieces that encouraged non-violent protest and during his life he was famous for being a troublemaker. Lots of his really radical writing was not republished until after his death, so for a long time people thought of him as a writer who was not very important, until it was all discovered and printed again in the 20th century. Shelley worked closely with Byron on several occasions throughout his life, and found that Byron was an inspiration, encouraging his poetry and helping him improve. He also worked closely with John Keats, and Keats's death inspired Shelley's famous poem, Adonais. As with so many of the Romantic poets, his love life was never going to be straightforward. After he'd been expelled from Oxford, his parents were very strict for him and demanded that he give up his beliefs, including being a vegetarian, his political radicalism and his ideas about free love. Shelley responded by running away and marrying Harriet, a girl his father had forbidden him to see. His father then cut off his allowance. Shelley eventually tired of Harriet and accused her of only marrying him for his money. He began to spend time away from her and she had to move back in with her parents. Then he met Mary Godwin, daughter of the feminist Mary Wollstonecraft and the radical writer William Godwin. He fell madly in love with her and threatened to commit suicide if she didn't return his feelings. His father didn't approve of her relationship, mainly because Shelley was still married to Harriet. So they ran away to Switzerland, taking Mary's sister Jane with them. When they finally returned, Mary was pregnant. So Harriet filed for divorce and full custody of their children. Mary's stepsister Claire was in a failing relationship with Byron and invited Percy and Mary to come and meet him. She wanted to show him off to Mary and was trying to keep him interested. This was how Byron and Shelley met and became such close friends when Byron left Mary's sister pregnant, Shelley was the one that supported her and Byron's daughter financially. Mary's other half-sister, Frances, committed suicide because she was also in love with Shelley. And she did this at the same time as Harriet, who drowned herself while pregnant with another man's child. Percy was finally ab able to marry Mary, and she became Mary Shelley, the writer of Frankenstein. Even though Harriet was dead, the court still did not give him custody of his and Harriet's children. Tragedy followed the Shelleys as they travelled around Europe. Their son William died in Rome. Their daughter Clara died a year later. Shelley himself drowned when his boat was caught in a storm in Italy. Some say the boat was not well made, others that he was just not skilled enough to sail it in a storm. A lot of people said that it was not an accident. There are all sorts of rumours. One said that he was depressed and wanted to die. Others that pirates sunk it because they thought he was Byron. Others said that he was murdered because of his political writings having made him an enemy of the British, Irish and Ottoman governments. He was 30 years old. <laughs>